Halo C, now it's Halo C, it's Halo C, now. Oh, this is an outrage. Did this all seriously happen? How the hell am I supposed to cooperate with this? You're telling me that after all this time that I made fun of my favorite god, freaking Messi four years ago, making fun of the Hollanders not qualifying, even Italians not qualifying, this is all the payment I get out of you guys. I guess that was karma in the first place, so I might as well eat it up. And you're expecting me to write the script for the machinima part of Halo C now? <laughs> I am too heartbroken for that. So seriously, I don't give a crap for this month anymore, so I might as well just do it completely from uh, from the very fast-paced standpoint here. So here we go. <coughs> so what we got here? Uh huh. Well, what about this? Uh, that does. Ooh, we've seen somewhere like that before. We made some kind of video. Oh, oh, oh. but no, that's. Now that's completely different. Yeah. What else can we find out of this? Well, just join the Discord link in the description below and you'll find yourself in a variety of ways to improve LC that you probably heard of before because I keep on nutting on Chimera for the past few months. I me myself that I do, do that too. And also, since I like getting betrayed on, here is Emmanuel CD with his new concept of a nuclear forest map. So, this is a Siberian tundra, or just completely winter overall, in a nuclear facility inside a forest. But this all looks fake. Me being in the nuclear field myself, I should tell you that there should be some kind of source of fresh water lying around this damn nuclear site. Are you telling me the Russians do not know how to effectively use nuclear facility just because it looks good? <laughs> yeah, to tell that to freaking someone who knows about this stuff. So, I am pretty sure that you should totally add some kind of river or lake next to this thing. Or, well, you can do one and paint it green. Because that's how the Soviets always do that. They put the damn waste in those wastelands things. Yeah, they're not the smartest kind of them all, aren't they? Halo 1.5 map ports got updated. So if you saw that part from Michelle last month, then you should download those maps again because though they got a bunch of bugs the first time around, so yeah, those were really, really important bugs to get rid of, so you might as well Redownload them if you wish to play them sometime soon. Toy Verge released his very version of a Blood Gauge AI map where you can play as grunts. I don't need to say anything further about that. You can help this guy out if you please said so. I'm not sure if I see any help requests in here, but still, you can try it out, I guess, with some of these colorful grunts. Hex Zone got released, so Emmanuel CD finally got up and released this thing after all these years of seeing this thing being uh, being progressed and stuff stuff like that. Anyhow, it's a it's a very colorful map and a bunch of nice things to look at. Of course, we'll be playing it, I guess, in July and doing footage for that. We'll see about that. Dreamweb 2 got some updates, even though I keep on saying that something will happen to it the next month. Uh, they, they don't get my word for it. I'm not the deliverer here, I'm just the... Deliverer. Oh, fuck my life. So, these looks like, a, looks like very nice parts to have, right? Could be very well be some for something else, or it could be Dreamweb related. But since it got posted in Dreamweb, I might as well say it is our Dreamweb related Spartans. Yay. You're good going on that. Keep on doing that work. Chimera hasn't gotten a, a bunch of updates, uh, really big ones that is, after a huge while. But Kawad did indeed make an update on the situation regarding Chimera, and it's all well and done. So we're getting the insight here that Chimera will be released as 1.0. And for that to happen, stuff will be done, and stuff will be added, 
and I can list those things. You can disable buffering, which can potentially improve input lag. Done, dusted, that's great. You can enable console, because that's still something people are worried about sometimes. You can fix or disable auto censoring. I'm sure this is the part where you have to look around, but you can't do that when you're in a vehicle. Sometimes it just auto centers, that's, that's right there. Also one of the big ones, you can now block mouse acceleration with Chimera, which has been added a while ago. You can set your mouse sensitivity granularly. Great stuff there. And now for some apparently brand new features that we've never covered before it seems. Uh -huh. So you can activate it so that you don't see the game type rules when you join a server anymore. This is actually great stuff, I might as well activate it right now. <clears throat> type rules a oh, motherfucker i'm apparently too stupid to realize that this thing is supposed to be in camera 1.0 which i don't have same stuff like the last one you can also block the thing that happens when you press f1 which i can't do it right now because open source is blocking it so i did that but still uh that the message with the hold f1 to s for score at the top left of the of the screen when you join a server will be gone when you do this command. You can also not let the loading screen be showed when you join, unless it is needed. I wonder how that will be determined. You can also set your FOV and Chimera as well as vertigo or horizontally. Interpolation, as we said in the past, it will get better, it has been better and it will only get better. This thing will just keep on getting better and we just can't stop winning there. As well as interpolates velocity, which, well, uses velocity-based interpolation. I think that is the part where it will determine what's the best interpolation for you. Unless that's another command which I don't know about anymore. Chimera Potato exists. This is exactly what you think it is. It will turn your Halo C into a potato, which means you will get more FPS, hopefully, out of this command. Yes, it will put down the most awful graphic settings you can possibly imagine in this game. You can uncap the FPS rate, or the frame rate, in cutscenes in Halo. I have no clue how that will work, but I will try and experiment that some other time. A lot more stuff will be added for Chimera in the future, just like the complete removal of warping, which of course does improve hit registration. This kind of feature you can actually find already in good maps, you fucks. If you don't know what that is, I will not tell you, because Stuntman does not allow me to. Unless he'll tell you now in the comment section, who knows, I'm not even sure myself anymore. This all, however, will conflict with SAPP, because SAPP is a closed source, while Chimera is not. So, difficulties will arise when implementing this. There's no known uh, release date for Chimera 1.0, but indeed you can get some test builds of Chimera in the Discord link in the description. But for Chimera 1.0, I believe it will be presented in the thread in Open Carnage, so keep your eyes on that. Top 5! So at number 5 we've got Spawn Hybrid with random Halo Constitution stuff and it occurred in a similar place that happened in the last top 5 somehow with the same kind of reactions. I wonder if I actually am looking at the same videos of them but you know what I'm talking about. So let's take a look! It's Elite's face now, seriously. <laughs> You cannot stop me, I have the super campaign installed. Yep, your primitive cousin of SPV3. Assault SMG is killing. Oh, well, oh, fuck. I guess the elites can be just as bad. And I. Yeah! At number four, it's Plorb by Mickey. Or is it Plorb? 
Anyhow, this guy is playing on Blood Gorge and knows the difficulties of capturing flags in Blood Gorge. So let's see those struggles, shall we? Run, 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 Don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Hey, hey. <laughs> Suck, idiot. Hello, hi, I got the flag. At number 3, it's Salty Zealot with his playthrough of Clean Up. This is indeed still continuing on with his journey to co clean up every single custom campaign in Halo Custom Condition. So let's see how we can clean up this mess. Who got the pipe tail? Over there! Wait! Oh, he's found the pipe tail, I guess. What have we got? Let's go get them. They think they won. Look at them all. Running at us confidently. You don't, you don't understand what you are fucking with. I just tried to reload an assault rifle. Don't do that. Do not, do not do that. That. Oh, why do I have to reload? What's going on? Why the fuck are we fighting these guys when we got plasma pistols that are planning against us? Get out of the way, you dog. Get the fuck back. Oh, that grunge just fucking RKO'd him. Just sort him out, guys. It's not that hard. Just someone run in there and just fucking sort them out physically. Just run up and RKO them all. Batista bomb them. I don't think they'll be coming further anymore if they saw you do that. At number two, it's Outpeer. Welcome back to Halo Custodian, mate. I enjoy his Halo C videos a lot too. So this is Halo, but imagine every NPC is a toy channel. He's playing on Epsilon, a map I'm still yet to do, but I'm still saving it for a special time. Duh. <laughs> so, how does he fare well in this one? All right, this looks interesting. What is that? Diagnostics, huh? You didn't even touch the fucking keyboard, dude. Okay, thank you very much. Don't put that in your pocket. Nope, what are you doing? Why are you stealing that? Agent Washington, drop your weapon and get on the ground now, or we will shoot. I, I can't get on the ground, thank you very much. That's not a part of my controls. What's up, guys? Hey, 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 hey. Chill out here, can you hold this? Thank you. Hey, what's up, man? Get to switch weapons. There we go. Can't... No, I didn't do that. Dude, I've killed like half the crew. I don't need no warnings. Okay, you know what? Hey, I'm taking lots of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh. Holy shit, dude. Is this fucking no rushing or what? I'll be taking that. No, I won't. Jesus Christ, that just took a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And at number one, a first timer. It's Man of Star and his feelings on Halo Custodian 2018, playing on H2 Ascension on that server, as we all know about it by now. And take a look at his efforts in that map. Very fun, but Minion will be there. Yeah, Alright, that was it for this month. Not because there's not a lot to do, but because in honor of my national team early exit out of the World Cup, I might as well exit early myself. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you another month. And this time I'll actually do Machinima this time, as I'm not going to be mentally challenged afterwards unless France wins. <laughs> no, no, they're not gonna win. They're not. They're totally not the best team in the tournament for a reason. No.